guys, I got a shed. So here is the panels. Um, we had we spent like two and a half hours taking it apart. Um, I gotta clean it all up and I gotta buy new screws and I gotta paint it. I'm gonna paint it blue with, um, here's the frame. I'm gonna paint anything that shows on the outside white like it already is, but it, it definitely needs some painting done with some outdoorsy paint. And I'm gonna paint the roof. Maybe I'll get a darker blue for the roof. Like, that looks nice, like the dark red with the regular red but not rusty would be nice. Um, so that's my project. I'm gonna get new screws that are easier to take apart um, because the reason why I'm getting the shed is so that I can bring all my stuff, extra appliances, um, things like that out of my house and into it so that um, we can get ready to move. Um, I've got, you know, four people that I'm living with and we all have our own set of everything like irons and blenders and everything and um, trying to sell the house when it's full of stuff is not going to be very easy so I bought a shed and I don't know where we're going next hopefully I'll be able to take the shed with me but if not then um, I guess that's okay too so yeah that's my project and I will be updating you I guess because you all need to know what it's like to put a shed together um, thank you so much to Jacob and Eric for the friggin two and a half hours of taking apart a shed and um, the truck and yeah all that help I don't think it would have happened if you guys hadn't been there it wouldn't have happened actually <laughs> At all, I would just been like staring at it, like I don't think I can get this apart. So all the screws were rusted, which is why I didn't get new ones. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, I don't think I can really express to you guys how excited I am without showing you how weird I am. So yeah, um, and now we've got to go shopping for more paleo foods. Oh, I'm gonna go grab stuff and make things today. And I will show you them. Show you our... I will show you what they look like and if I like them and um... Yeah, I think it's gonna be a very productive food day. Bye! Guys, it's the next day and it's snowing! I can kinda see it. Well, my Christmas tree looks like it's in the right place. It's got snow on it. We're just waiting for it to dry out so we can, uh, so we can burn it. It was a good tree. Uh, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna burn it when it gets warmer, but. Oh, this thing didn't last the winter. garbage. Eh, it'll just become a table <laughs> with arms. Hmm. Yeah, it's snowing! So, I don't think I'll be working on the shed today, but, no. Oh, looks like it'll clean up okay. can't wait to get, show you guys what this looks like in the spring because we have all of our plant spaces that we made. It's all full of leaves and uh, but this just gets filled with plants and it looks so cool. I have all this. This is the compost down there so it's kind of messy right now but uh, we get lots of peas. All over the place. Pretty cool. Oh. Just trying to collect some rain water for watering. We haven't gotten a lot of rain. So it's the next day again. I keep forgetting to end the video. Um, nothing too exciting today. I did the testing that I had to do for work. Um, 
they just wanted to find out if I was good at math and reading and all that fun. And apparently I am top notch. I hope it doesn't look burnt to you guys. It looks burnt in the screen to me. The edges are a little darker, but I think that's how it's supposed to be. So excited for chocolate. And put these delicious blueberries on them. I have to wait for this thing to cool. And I can do decorate it. And keep having to smell it while I'm taking pictures and not be able to uh, eat it. I will eat it soon. Kind of funny, kind of not, but I just keep getting proved that I can't do things on the first try. So, this is what happened to the chocolate cake that I was going to do a video for you guys of. It got so stuck. I'm just... Then I thought I was going to get it and I could just like piece it back together, you know, like... Piece it together like that. And it would look good. But no, the top stayed there were there. And it, sh it like shrank. It just... It looks like I scraped off the top of a whole cake. But... Since it's all not gorgeous, I can try it. Mm. Oh gosh, guys. If you guys are good at making flourless chocolate cake, this is really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You guys think that maybe I could just cover up all this with blueberries and for my main video it'll just look good right because I mean there's blueberries on it just no one will know oh I still need my heart it just needs to look like a heart no one will know oh yeah every it's a love cake yeah no one would notice so I think that's going to be it for the vlog today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening and don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button and all that awesomeness so that we can hang out and be friends. Um, yeah, you guys have a good night. Bye.